Surprise, surprise, I'm back to black and I'm very happy about that. What's that song? We only said goodbye with words. You go back to her and I go back to. I go back to. Say it with me. Black. In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys my 2023 curly routine that covers all the basics and all the healthy tips that I recommend that everyone with curly hair should follow for 2023 if you're not already. This is a good introduction to a new year. I wanted to hold off on doing certain videos that I had planned to do until this one was out. And by the way, this video is sponsored by Ceremonia, which you should know if you're not new here, that is one of my favorite hair brands. They are clean hair brand. They use so many great ingredients and they avoid all the bad stuff. On top of the ingredients being clean and safe, which is what I'm all about, that's my priority. I love that they cater to all hair types, including curly hair, textured hair, because we all deserve a clean hair brand that's transparent and is actually doing the work to create a safe and healthy product line. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe and check out my Instagram where I'm more active and posting when I'm not on here. So it's January 2023. Let me take you through my routine. But first, let me show you how I went back to black. <sighs> I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I sat down to try to edit this video and I made the worst realization. I just deleted off of the actual SD card in my camera the one clip I had of me dyeing my hair from blonde to black. Completely my fault. I had a whole plan on how this video was gonna go and I ruined it. So here is my attempt to create a solution. What I do have to show you, which thankfully was not deleted, is a reel. It's a quick reel for my Instagram that I made where I show myself actually going through the process, but it's obviously really quick and I don't even show the brand, I don't even show the box, I just kind of show the mixture and boom, black hair right after. On the bright side, the boxed hair dye that I use for my home process to remove the blonde on the ends was Herbitant in the color 4C Ash Chestnut. I followed the instructions on the box as it was. I applied the hair dye only in the parts of my hair that had the blonde color, which was from here to here, just on the ends. But the closest thing I have to that now is my reel on my Instagram. So if you wanna see that with the music and everything, click down below so you can watch that. This is out of my control. I could sit here and be upset at myself or let's make the best of it and get back to regular scheduled programming. Okay, it's another wash day. This is actually going to be my third wash day since I colored my hair. One of the basics that I have gotten used to doing on a weekly basis is oil scalp massaging. And one of my favorites is this one by Ceremonia. This is the Aceite de Mosca, which is basically a pre-shampoo scalp treatment. You just basically run some lines down your scalp. And if you have any problem areas, focus on those areas a little extra. For me, that's the back of my hair, where my hair grows differently, grows slower, and has more breakage, which is why I asked my stylist when I did have my hair colored to not color the back. And then once I have a good amount on my scalp, I just go in with my hands and massage. I like using my hands on this part, but if you prefer, you could also use the Ceremonia Scalp Massager, which is very soft and has like silicone tips. So it's not going to tug on your hair. It's going to be really soothing on the scalp as well. And I just do a little bit of massage for like maybe three minutes or until I feel like every part of my scalp has been massaged well. Again, I focus on the back and use the ball of my fingers. What I'm doing right now with this oil is helping not only relieve some of the itchiness, break down some of that buildup that may be there from products that I've been using throughout the week, and it's only gonna help me even more within the washing process. It's very stimulating for hair growth as it increases blood flow as I'm doing the massaging. So if you have like problems with itchiness or have a dry scalp which causes dandruff and things like that, this would be a good habit to get into doing weekly before you wash your hair in the shower. If you have curly hair like me, you only need to do it once a week because I don't typically wash my hair more than once a week. And if you don't have curly hair, then every time you wash your hair, get in the habit of using a scalp massage oil like this one. And this Aceite de Mosca is very different from the well-known Aceite de Mosca from Dominican Republic because this one not only has clean ingredients, it also does not contain mineral oil or petroleum. And as you should know, healthy hair starts on the scalp, so this is just a really good idea. It smells amazing. It has their signature scent that's in all the Ceremonia products. It has so many good ingredients like chia seed oil, castor oil, maracuja oil, aloe vera, acai oil, and so much more that I can't think from the top of my head. It's really good and my scalp feels very stimulated right now so that means I'm ready to go in the shower and wash my hair. 
To cleanse my hair, I love using this papaya scalp scrub. As you can see, it's almost gone. But I stock up on these. So I have another brand new bottle right under my sink. And this scalp scrub works like a shampoo and a scalp scrub in one. It has papaya enzymes and pink salt to exfoliate the scalp and helps balance the scalp oils while also getting rid of the buildup. So I first massage it into my scalp with my hands and give it a good rub just to start. And then I switch to the scalp massager, which allows me to stimulate my scalp even more. Now I'm gonna skip the conditioner and move on to the Mascarilla de Babasu, which is a super silky hydrating mask that gives so much slip to my curls. And this product is similar to like a slime, but also silky at the same time. It makes detangling my curls so much easier. And when I apply this, I apply this mostly towards the end where my hair needs it the most. Just like I said, the scalp is the beginning of healthy hair. Your ends are your oldest hair, so it also needs a lot of attention to prevent breakage and rehydrate those ends that are most likely drier than your scalp area. And I don't always time how long I leave the mask in, but I usually leave it on for the amount of time that it takes me to completely shower. But right before I come out of the shower, I just rinse it off. And that could be anywhere from five minutes to 10 minutes, depending on what I'm choosing to do that day on the shower. It's time to style my hair. And the first thing that I like to do to style my hair is protect my hair from heat. Even though I use low heat on my blow dryer with the diffuser, it's still important to protect my hair, especially on the ends. And this Ceremonia Guava Rescue Spray is a great one. Because it's a UV and heat protectant. And it's also very lightweight, it's a spray. And my problem areas are the back of my hair by my neck and my ends. Not so much on the scalp. Again, this smells so good. Their signature scent is amazing. I'm gonna take a light amount of the Guava Leave-In Conditioner. If you have curly hair, this is gonna be very lightweight for your curly hair. But I personally like to layer this one with the Pecky Curl Activator. So I just apply a little bit of that just to distribute throughout my hair. And what I'm focusing on this year is basically hydrating my hair and doing only the basics. No more hair dyes, continuing like I always have been with clean ingredients in every product that I use. And the big one that I'm stopping is getting curly cuts. I'm no longer gonna get curly cuts because I do want my hair to grow out to one length. This is something that I've been thinking about for a while, but haven't fully decided because I've always been stuck with having that voluminous curls and like the typical curly cut that a lot of people get where it's like, layered and I've only recently decided that I no longer want any layers and it's been a year, over a year, since I stopped getting curly cuts. So I'm just gonna let my hair grow out all to one length if that's possible. And one of the big reasons why I got inspired to do that is my daughter. My daughter has the most beautiful long hair, all one length. She has never had a curly cut before. She's literally my hair goals and I've been admiring her hair since she's been born. Que Dios me la cuide, but I have to say it, I'm proud of her hair. As I struggled with my hair, I basically lost some of the beauty of my hair and she gained the beauty and more. It's a bittersweet process of having children. To style my curls, I'll be using the Pecky Curl Activator. This is also very lightweight. It's a weightless milky serum that still allows me to get the volume that I like, but also hydrates my hair really well at the same time. So I apply a bit of that at a time and I sectioned my hair in half. So I work with the bottom section. Get in with my fingers. I'm gonna apply a little tiny bit more, just like that. I'm gonna focus that on, on these edges right here where they tend to get a little drier sometimes. Where your hair gets frizzy the most, where your hair gets drier the most, is where you should be focusing on with your products because dryness equals frizz. Frizz and dryness are one. With my styling brush, I'm gonna take sections and go from the middle of my head, not the scalp, and just brush it through. And the reason I go from the middle is because the higher up you go, the more definition you're gonna get. So if you lack definition on your scalp, definitely use your brush straight from the scalp. But if you don't necessarily lack definition on your scalp, then just focus on mid head to ends like me because that's gonna allow you to get more volume, especially now that I'm not getting curly cuts. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the Pecky Styling Gel. Again, lightweight gel. It's clear, I just take it and kind of run it through with prayer hands towards the ends. So I'm not raking my hands through the hair, I'm just palming it and then bringing it down. I'm gonna take a little bit more for the other side. Before Ceremonia even came out with the gel, I used to just use the Pecky Curl Activator and I used a lot more of it to ensure that, that extra hydration. So just to let you know, you could just use 
the curl activator and not use gel but i do like using both it allows my curls to hold longer and i have to restyle less throughout the week and for the top i basically do the same thing but i'm gonna work on the edges of my hair first i'm gonna take some pecky curl activator not that much just a little i'm gonna take my brush and run it through another section and do the exact same thing now for this last top section i just rake everything back and then allow my hair to part in its own natural way but i don't make a part in my hair especially with my hair growing out all to one length so i take it from here and just brush it up and let it go at this point because i've styled this side this side and one in the back i'm gonna take some of the pecky styling gel and then just kind of like run my hands through the top sections that I just styled. Can you believe that this used to be my bangs a year ago? And I'm gonna take some of the gel, I take a lot of it now, run that through a bit, go back. And always remember that if your hair looks good while it's wet, that's how your hair is gonna dry. But if your hair looks frizzy while it's wet, it's gonna dry frizzy too. This looks glossy, shiny, and every curl looks intact. There's nothing out of place, so that just ensures me that everything's gonna dry properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry my hair, which takes me about 15 minutes. And I always dry my hair on low heat, high fan. That works for me. And I'll show you the results in a second. So here's my hair fully dried. I'm gonna toss it up a little bit on the scalp with my hands and separate my curls a little bit to create more volume, as I always do. But as you can see already, my hair is so shiny, so defined, and the gel created a very, very flexible cast. So I'm gonna take some big chunks and separate those. That enhanced my hair so much more just with my hands and you can see the color that i dyed my hair with so much more now i actually like that i can see the separation where this is my natural color which is darker than the part where i dyed which is exactly what i wanted i didn't want this to necessarily be too dark because then i wouldn't be able to see when the hair dye grows out and then just stick to my natural color having the blonde hair was so fun i really really loved it but in comparison to having your natural color this is just so much more low maintenance i don't have to tone my hair i don't have to go to the salon as often and i don't have to spend as much money those are big things for me but it was fun while i had it i got it out of my system and now i'm back to black something i like to do especially on day two as a finisher for those of you who have extra dry ends or you want a little more shine on your hair this is the oil mist con aloe vera you can spray this onto your hair onto your ends but what i like to do is spray it onto my hands and distribute it and then work it into the ends as the days go by this really helps bring in that shine and seal the ends after i'm done styling or when i'm restyling and it smells amazing so delicious i'm not applying that on my hair today because i don't think my hair needs it if it did need it i would definitely apply it but i think it's good as it is the amount of work that i put into my hair to keep it healthy even while having the dye is a true testament to the way my curls look right now i did the best i could to not damage my hair within the process i was very cautious of the amount of work it took how much deep conditioning i had to do on a weekly basis but how healthy my curls look is a sign that my hair is thriving my hair is doing good even though i went through that process i didn't lose my curls i didn't lose the definition and i'm really happy to move forward without any more processing but on day two and three if i see that i'm like losing a little bit of volume because like i said i'm not getting curly cuts i will take a comb like this one this is kind of like a pick because it's thin in the edges it's not like a regular comb and i will go on the roots and lift it up with this brush and let me just show you on one side the difference and i flip my hair down and do the same thing and then look at that look how much bigger this side is from just that little bit to this side. So I might as well do it to this side now just to balance it out. So if you want big hair, but you don't want to get a curly cut or cut your hair into layers in any way, this is a this is a good solution. I hope you guys enjoyed my 2023 curly routine. This is one of my favorites and I know you're going to love it as well. So if you haven't tried any of the ceremonial products, check it out down below. In my description box, I'll have every link to all the products I used here today. And let me know in the comments below how you're liking my hair now that I went back to my natural color. What do you think? Do you like the blonde more? Let me know down below. Even though I'm gonna stick with the natural color, I still wanna hear your opinion. Thank you for being here and I hope I see you again in the next video. Bye sunshines.